Hello guys, welcome back to this channel, Chris the Crank, and for today's episode, we're going to explain the Ohm's Law together with some demonstration with our Snap Circuit 203. So you can see it's from Elenco, and then you can build over 200 exciting projects. But for today, we're going to focus with the basics of Ohm's Law. And from this side, we have the multimeter. We can do some testing, such as the voltage right here. Then we can also check the ampere. Okay. And then from there, we're going to check as well the resistance, including the continuity test. Some sort of recap, if you want to go back in my previous episode regarding multimeter, I will share the link below. Not much of the intro, let's go dive in with our terminologies and do this project. First thing for our safety reminder, make sure you know what you're doing because every time you're dealing with electricity, there's a risk of burn and electric shock. Ohm's law states the size of the current that flows in a circuit varies in proportion to their voltage which is applied to the circuit and inversely proportion to the resistance. Some sort of recap, each element has valence electrons. The example of metal elements is gold, silver, and bronze, and the smallest part is called atom. An atom has electron, neutron, proton, and nucleus. The outer electrons, we call it the valence electron. So what is the value? We need to understand the movement of valence electrons in the conductor is what we call current or ampere, or the intensity of the electrons. Now let's go to the battery. Battery is our pressure, direct current. We can relate this to a water in a tank. Whatever kind of battery, it could be 3 volts battery or 12 volts battery from the car or maybe high voltage battery. Everything is the same. The only difference is the elements used. And then the last ingredient of Ohm's law is the resistance which is inside of the resistor is quite high compared to the resistance in the fuses, also in relays, starter motor which is the load and the conductors. Let's go dig in with this box. Wow! Nice components. We want to put some battery here. Basically we need 1.5 times 3. So this is the first example of our series connection. So right here, we just simply put our battery, 1.5, in the correct position. And from there, we're going to call this as our PPU, power pack unit. This is the same concept for the high voltage battery. The only difference, this is only low voltage. Then you want to set your multimeter in voltage. Direct current. Total of 4.79. Because each of these, approximately 1.5, if you check directly to the battery, then you will get 1.5. So what kind of inspection we can perform here, we can set the multimeter right here in continuity test or what we call the resistance inspection. 
option here what we want to find out we want to make sure there is no high resistance between the conductor okay so we can perform right here we can begin with the number two because one is of course one make sure you have the full contact 0 0.5 ohm next number three 0 0.2 next number four another 0 0.2 ohm and the last one is 0 0.2 ohm which is basically very low resistance if we check the resistor we'll connect it here okay and then check how many right 98.6 ohms that is correct because this is very close to 100 ohms so basically what we did is another series connection using our multimeter again check now okay so in this case it is over 400 ohms so that's why we have to adjust our multimeter 4k from there check there you go 1.076 kilo ohms We want to set this in voltage and then we want to check from here in the battery then we have 4.37 and then from the load we want to check as well how many from the load 4.28 that is what we call voltage drop now there's another voltage drop right here in our conductor in one line a little bit if that's the case you can lower into 4 volts and then check the voltage drop so you can see from there 0 0.009 volt that's the voltage drop ampere move the red probe right here and then open the line on the switch and then connect your probes right there how many 0 0.28 ampere Definitely the two loads is sharing the voltage from the battery. For example, here we have 0.616 volt and then when we check the speaker, 3.885 volts. Then same thing, if you add the two volts, that's our total voltage. There you go. So you can hear the speaker is creating static sound. Here's our voltmeter. The switch is on. When we check from here, we have 4.07. And then in the load number 2, will be the same. 4.06. Right. So basically, this load number one and load number two 
they are not sharing. Remove this one wire. It's our ampere on the switch and then connect the two probes in series connection right so that's our ampere 0 0.39 ampere all right guys that's the end of our episode for today i hope you remember something regarding the ohm's law the relationship between voltage and current and inversely proportion to the resistance stay tuned for more learnings and more adventure right here at decrease the crown bye bye